Hi, what's up? Matthias here. I often get the question, what's the best free software instrument um, or a software synth that you can get? And today we're going to check out Zebralet 3, which honestly, in my opinion, is probably going to be one of the best synths from 2024 and onwards. Bear in mind that uh, at the making of this video, Zebralet 3 is still in beta. But while exploring Zebralet 3, I did make a small preset pack, which you can grab via store.morindumedia.com. Right, so let's take the tour. Right, so this is uh, Sebralet 3. Now, first out, what kind of synth is uh, Sebralet? Sebralet is a hybrid synth and it works with wavetables. That means um, that you have uh, a table, a set of uh, different waveforms. And then you can morph between these different waveforms. Now a quick little backstory and uh, history on Yuhi, the developer of Zebralet. They also developed a synth called Zebra 2 or Zebra synth. And Zebra 2 synth was used extensively in the score to the famous Dark Knight, the famous Batman movie. That probably gave uh, Yuhi and also their flagship synth Zebra some, some boost in the sales. And it was also one of the reasons why I first got into Zebra myself. Zebralet here is uh, basically a single oscillator from the coming Zebra 3 engine. So this is a little bit uh, like a sneak peek into what the uh, Zebra 3 might be like. Okay, so what can we do with a wavetable synth? If you go into the editing of our oscillator, which is uh, the sound source, the sound generator of, of the synthesizer, we can click this large pen and go into uh, an edit window. And here we can see the different... Uh, cells I have in my wavetable. I have three different cells and uh, we can use this curve morph knob to morph between these different cells. And for this uh, creamy pad patch I'm using the modulation matrix of uh, Sebralet to modulate uh, with uh, a multi-segment envelope generator to modulate this morph knob. And I've also attached the uh, aftertouch or pressure of this uh, Expressive E Osmos keyboard to control the LFO rate and also oscillator 1 effect, uh, the curve filter. which gives us this really lush and beautiful pad sound. On the left side of this oscillator editor window, we can see all the different tools we have available to uh, edit and manipulate our dots, which uh, makes up uh, the waveform. And here we can select like a shape and then just press anywhere on this grid. Let's actually quickly initialize the patch so we can more clearly hear the waveform. So you can right click in the display and select init. So that's uh, our sawtooth. Now uh, you can also make this into a, a super saw or uh, like a, a detuned super saw very easily just uh, by increasing the unison in the oscillator section here. Let's select the uh, six voices and then we can of course in increase the tuning and the uh, width spread. Now, if you pay attention to the user interface, we can't find any filter knob in here. We can see the global envelope, LFO 1, 2. We have a multi-segment envelope generator, the effects, delay reverb, the keyboard display, and the modulation matrix. But there's no filter available. But you can easily add a filter in one of the oscillator effects. So let's add something to oscillator effect 1. We can add the curve filter. So now we have a filter and you can also add a filter to the second slot here if you want to do more complex stuff. And as you can see there is also tons of different more complex oscillator effects that will manipulate that uh, the oscillators. So there is uh, tons of possibilities to create complex sounds uh, although it might seem like a uh, very simple synth with these uh, simple displays. 
And now we can now we can finish the sounds off by just adding some delay and reverb. Yes, let's uh, take a quick listen to some of the patches uh, that comes with Zebralette. So there's a bank of 59 presets. And as mentioned in the introduction, you can grab my free preset pack for Zebralette via the link store.monitormedia.com. Okay, so let's listen to Eargasm. So it's a similar patch, but it has a little bit more fizzle in the top end. And finally, Tabby Keys. Right, so let's jump over to uh, the Sebralette uh, factory patches. And I haven't obviously explored half of the tools available in, in the oscillator editor here. But uh, there's also this uh, morph uh, page where I think we can control how the morphing should behave between these waveforms. Okay, from the oscillator editor we can also jump to the multi-segment envelope generator by clicking the title. But uh, I think it's a little bit a weird design choice or a user interface design choice because the titles jump around when we select one of these. Uh, I would rather have seen that uh, they instead light up so they can stay in place. So we have oscillator editor always to the left and then multi-segment editor to the right and not have the titles jump around like this. Right, it's also worth mentioning that uh, if you want to uh, open and close the preset editor, you can see that if we open the preset editor, we also have the close sign for the preset editor at the same place uh, as uh, we open the presets button. Uh, in uh, user interfaces, you usually have the close button to the right or to the left of, of the windows, like you can see in 
in all the other windows in in the OS. So it's a little bit weird to uh, to walk away from uh, from the basic behavior of the user interface. That said, if you just spend a few minutes with Cebralet, you get the hang of uh, of the window behaviors and where to find all the stuff. It's, it's a very pristine sound engine here in in Cebralet. Right, so as I mentioned in the beginning, I said that I probably think that Several 3 is going to be one of the best synths from 2024 and onwards. onwards. And um, the reason why is uh, that it's a very, very nice sound engine in Several And I feel that the, the waveform editing is pretty straightforward. And uh, I mean, all these effects, uh, like the oscillator effects and uh, the built-in delay and reverbs. Uh, everything is laid out very well, it's super easy to control everything in here, and it's uh, very easy to add modulation. Now it might seem like you find less uh, options and features in uh, Cebralet compared to uh, a synth like Vital Synth. That said, the sound quality is uh, very, very good here in, in Cebralet. And while it only has a single envelope and a single multi-segment envelope generator for uh, applying envelopes, you can still add different uh, curves, like you can do, could do in uh, the oscillator editor. So you can have different uh, behaviors and morph between different uh, multi-segment envelopes with this uh, curve morph tool. All in all, it's uh, an extremely powerful synth. Right, so that's uh, my conclusion and uh, first deep dive into the Cebralet uh, 3 synth. And remember, this is just a beta, things might change and uh, might improve to the final release. Now let me know in the comments what you think and don't forget to uh, grab that free preset pack for Cebralet at the store.morningdumedia.com. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the like and at the notification bell so that you get notices as soon as I drop new videos. Thanks for watching today. My name is Matthias. See you in the next video. Bye.